Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, you will learn about how to export Rhino file into Revit. As you can see, we have two different models on the screen. One is a more geometric one, and the other one is a sub D. We'll show you how to export them separately, as the process is a little bit different. We're going to begin with the geometric model right here. Now, we're just going to quickly select the whole thing and go to File. And then we go to Export Selected. On the Save As Type, we're just going to go to select ACIS. And we'll give it a name. Now, we can leave the setting below as default. And we'll press Save. I'm going to use the default export options and press OK. Now we go to Revit. In Revit, it will be best to do this in the 3D view. If we go to the Insert tab on the top, we can see an option called Import CAD. Select it. And now in the Import CAD, we can see below here says Files of Type. Now if you go to the folder where you save it, and you realize that you can't find the file. That's because in Revit, it will only show you the file that's the same as the file type here selected. So therefore, we're going to change this into ACIS. And the file that we just exported will be shown. We select it. And now before we open it, we're just going to quickly make sure that we're exporting this as a generic model. And the positioning is from auto center to center. And we are just going to place it at level 1. I'm going to press open. And as you can see, the Rhino is now being imported into Revit. But one thing to note is that as Revit is a BIM software and Rhino is more 3D modeling software, therefore, the model that you imported from Rhino to Revit will not be seen as floor, walls, and ceiling as how you will model in Revit. It will only be seen as a generic 3D model. Similar idea to messing. So that's very important to keep in mind when you're trying to work with Rhino and Revit combined using this import method. And now we're going to show you how to export the sub D model. So we're going to select the sub D model. And before we export it, we have to turn this into poly surfaces in order to be successfully export. So we're just going to type in the command to NURBS. Press enter, press enter again. Now, we drag this one out, we can see a polysurface version has been created. We select this, go to File, Export Selected, and give it a different name, and press Save, and press OK. We go back to Revit, we move this model away from us, and then we're going to go to Insert, Import CAD, we're going to go to the Selected Files, press Open, and now, this polysurface has been successfully imported, which was originally the sub-D model. And next, we're going to show you another file that we can export, and that's actually the Rhino 3D file. And yes, Revit does support a direct export from a Rhino file into Revit. We're just going to select the geometry model as example, go to File, Export Selected. And we're going to go select the Rhino 8 3D models. Give it a name. And save. Go back to Revit. Move this away. I'm going to insert, import CAD, and in the file type, change it to Rhino Files 3DM. And then we now can select the model. Everything else stays the same. Press open. As you can see, the model being imported looks pretty much the same as ACIS. So therefore, the ACIS and the Rhino file itself are the best two file types to import into Revit. Now I'll show you what happened if we import two Rhino models from this one file at the same time. Now, we're just going to select all of these models. Go to File, Export Selected. We're going to go with the Rhino file. Press save. Go back to Revit, insert, and pour CAD. Select it, open. And if we go
go over the top, we will see that actually, because these two models are being exported at the same time, when we import them into Revit, they are seen as one model. If we rotate them, we can see that it's rotating around the center of these two models imported. What this means is that it is very important to keep in mind if you want to import several different Rhino models and place them differently in the Revit file, it's the best idea to export them individually rather than all together. And lastly, we'll show you what happens if we export this as TWG files. If you remember from the previous Revit to Rhino software tutorial, DWG was the best option to export from Revit to Rhino. However, this is not the case this time. If we go to File, Export Selected, and we select the DWG, which is written as AutoCAD drawing here. Give it a different name, press Save. Press OK. Go back to Revit, move all of these around, and now we're going to go to Insert and Pour Cat. Sometimes Revit will pop up this, it just tells you to save the project. For today's tutorial, I'm not going to save it. But for your own work, remember to save the project frequently. And now we're just going to import the DWG files. We're going to try three. And then everything else is going to stay the same. Once we open it, we'll see that actually this model has been imported as mesh of lines. And therefore, DWG file is probably not the best way to import from Rhino to Revit. And in conclusion, to successfully import a Rhino file into Revit, use either the Rhino 3DM model file or the ACIS files. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please stay in tune for more video like this.